What is going on lads and welcome back to episode 7 of our PEZ 2013 Master League. I wanted to just have a chat about my experiences with PEZ 2013 so far and every couple of episodes we are going to do kind of like a roundup highlight package of a couple of games to get through the season a little quicker. So we will revisit the group stage you can see there as you're clicking through and flicking through the group stage. We have one more game left to play. We should be fairly comfortable. Obviously we are top of the leaderboard. We simmed that game against Benfica and we did get the win. So we are going to top the group. Um, as you guys see there we also have this titanic classic of a match between ourselves and Arsenal and Les trust me this I mean if you're thinking of like should you go back and play PES 2013 for an actual Master League experience I mean we know that Master League devastatingly isn't in eFootball at the moment I think it has the potential to be a brilliant Master League with the gameplay that's there with a couple of tweaks because offline eFootball is fantastic and it has got fantastic potential in my opinion but there's so much stuff in PES 2013 in terms of like the players, the player ID, the animations, the challenge, the AI, the defense, you know, like you get chances and you have to be able to take them. It's like a classic Master League experience. And I'm finding as I'm playing PES 2013, all the things that I loved about PES, uh, PES Master League are shining true. And all the things that I hated are also shining true as well. So there's always going to be things that even if you go back and play PES 4 or 5, PES 5 is probably my favorite ever PES game. You're going to get issues with the gameplay. You're going to get issues with the animations and going to get issues with the flow of the game. I think in this match, you're going to see the best of how the AI are and how, you know, the challenge that they can give you. They go in for tackles, players get injured, they pop shots away, they score a different variety of goals, they have a different variety of breakdown and attack. Like you see here, a long ball through. It's like playing against somebody online. Out in the wing, I'm totally isolated, absolutely rinses me, squares it in, banging it bang and it's in the back of the net i mean that's like a goal that you would concede nine times out of ten online and that's kind of the way the ai sometimes feels like you feel like you're actually getting a real challenge and again you'll see here just from the different angle absolutely rinses me on the wing and then again from here again on the wing the opposite wing it's like playing against an online player i'm trying to stand off him try, trying to stand off him. you can see the limitations to like the jockeying and stuff is is way worse than eFootball, obviously, or PES 21. But again, he gets into a really good area and it's a top class finish again. Um, there is a lot of issues with the defending in the game. I find that I either dominate games or I just, you know, can't defend. It's kind of a, a mix or a match. Again, you'll see here, I absolutely pull, pull bulldozer into Van Persie. Sorry, lads, I was going to say pile driver into Van Persie. He stays down on the ground. Arteta is checking up on him. You all right, man? You all right? But he's going to get a bit more attention by the end of this game, lads. Don't worry. There he gets it right into the Butcher Bay. Occupancy one. But he is in the back of the net again with Podolski scoring his hat-trick as far as I know. And again, that was 3-0. I'll break that finger off Podolski if he keeps shaking at me. But from there, I was just going to get like very like few chances until this one. Rooney, he's been hitting the gym. He's been in with Bubba Buddy doing squats and doing reps galore. And he just bum rushes Scalacci off the ball. Absolutely destroys him shoulder to shoulder. It's 3-1. And from there, you know, I was thinking, all right, I can just get back into this game. Brilliant tackle. It's just before halftime, 45 minutes on the clock. We're on the attack here again, down the wing, looking for a beautiful ball in. It comes into Burba, the player I don't want it to be. I want it to be Rooney for the pace, but Burba has other ideas. Lovely shot, lovely finish from the rebound, and we're back in the game before halftime. 3-2, lads. This is turning out to be an absolute cracker of a game, and we're going to be, you know, hopefully able to pull back the result. But... The minute the second half hits then, right, you're thinking, right, just kind of slow down. Obviously, I've kind of negated a lot of their wing play uh, in the rest of the first half, but then they just decide to switch it up and go through the middle. And this is kind of why I'm talking about with the AI. Like, look at that for a goal. I mean, a long-range strike, nothing else really on. I close down the gaps as best as I possibly can, and it's just a moment of magic, and Podolski's wagging that finger again. I, have a, I hit a lovely shot in there, tried to replicate it, but don't have the power. Comes back from a replay into Rooney. Shoot again, just flashes over the bar. And again, lads, I'm having so much fun playing PES 2013's Master League. Like, it's just such an unbelievable uh, game mode and experience that when you do get matches like this, where it's like a, kind of a tit for tat, there's a very bad mistake here for me at the back and a load of other mistakes. And they do get their last goal of the game with Giroud getting it. And from here, there's probably no way back here thinking, lads, you know, there's not much time on the clock. But look at this for a finish. Absolutely unbelievable goal from Burba, who I've been cursing. He's wearing the captain's armband today. He's got two goals for us. And we're not finished there, lads. We are not finished there. We've still got time on the clock. A couple of minutes. Lovely intricate passing and lovely finish. But it's just a variety, man. It's the variety of the gameplay. It's the variety of the challenge. The variety of the player ID and the AI. 
it's just so far ahead of some things in eFootball 22 and that's going back a couple of years you can see there that that result leaves us in a really rough position we had made a bit of leeway on the table but that one would have been a huge win for us and you know traveling to Majeski Stadium we do need to get a couple of wins off and this is kind of the other side of things with, with PES 2020 uh, 13 then as well is that like there's a lot to like about it there's a lot to love about it but there's also some things as well to hate about it and a lot of the thing is that like you don't get that many chances in the game and when you do you have to take them also we do have a new signing coming in it is Matt Hummels who we signed and we negotiated for in the last episode check that out if you haven't we've got him on a I think it was 20 million I think it was um or something like that we've got Welbeck and Cleverly out on loan as well so we do have Hummels coming for 20 million it's a one-year contract salary is going to be 3 million we're going to just approve that straight off the rip because we do need a massive improvement in our back line and then we've got a bit of a highlight package of the rest of the games and just a roundup of everything else so as I was saying, lads, you'll see here, you know, it's the 50th minute or whatever, we get our first goal. The AI sometimes just are so passive. It doesn't matter what um, they're on, like what difficulty they're on. Like if it's on top player or superstar, um, Eto is obviously going to come for us. I know a lot of you guys were asking in the comments below for, uh, as well for Eto. Now, he originally wanted 28 million last episode that we were looking at, but for this one, he actually doesn't want that much at all. So we're going to actually sign him up. Maybe he got the, he got the, the feeling that we weren't going to sign him otherwise and that's all that we can really afford we're maxed out now we've you know our expected earnings i think we've about 10 million left so in the last game of the champions league lads we have played and qualified with full points as you can see here we topped the group as well as the rest of the other teams as well so we will be playing a runner-up um in that in that uh, group stage match but yeah just back to pez 2013 there's a couple of things that frustrate me you'll see the squad and the team that i'm playing at the moment i'm playing kind of like a 4-4-2 um with Kagawa or else Ronaldinho push right up Rooney is out today against Newcastle so this is going to be a bit of a challenging match for me but yeah the difficulty I think sometimes like you will see in a couple of the highlights you know I might record for an hour but I might only get like about like six or seven minutes of highlights out of the games because there's just nothing really happening like the AI can be sometimes extremely passive now you will notice as well as that Giggs has been banging them in lately um and I'm talking about on the pitch now this is a beautiful goal for me. I've started to develop, and you'll see in the next episode especially, it's just a crazy episode, episode eight, but there is my expected earnings. I've started to develop the squad in a way now that I'm just kind of shooting on sight, and I'm getting players that can actually just just finish. So the likes of Nanny, Berbatov, Rooney, Welbeck, um, Vidic is mad up for it today. I love these little cutscenes just to highlight that. Looks absolutely class, but... Yeah, you will see, lads, that the, the, like, it, sometimes it's impossible. I might play three matches where the AI doesn't get a shot off, even on Superstar. You know, it seems to be on Superstar. I might bump it down to top player because look at that for a finish. Oh, man, what a goal. And you will see here again that Danny Welbeck is a beast. He's out on loan, I think, so I might regret that one. But, um, yeah, there's a lot to love about it. But sometimes the AI is extremely passive, like, that they don't actually, like, this was their first shot on target and their only shot on target that they had in the whole game so we are climbing up the leaderboard a little bit lads it's not massive progress but we have played a couple of other games there from the arsenal match as you see and we are in the fifth position so we're just missing out in champions league but we'll be back with episode eight lads it's a massive massive game you'll see again what i'm talking about some of the best matches that we're going to play but some of the most kind of like yeah it's just kind of shows the good and the bad of pez 2013 in my opinion but until next time lads i will talk to you later hope you're enjoying the series peace